So here we are once again. It is officially 6.50 in the morning, a.m. Beautiful spring day. Um, this log, buddy with the excavator, well, buddy's coming to run the excavator. He's gonna move this, drop this log for me so I can cut this bolt because this log needs to go like that. Loud Harley. Um, this log needs to be, be standing like this, but I need to cut the bottom flat so he's gonna drop it with that little excavator, then stand it up for me. And because this is gonna be my next treehouse project, and I'm gonna do a copper roof with little tiny copper shingles, and I gotta have it standing out in the sun and I, cause I gotta see where the cracks are gonna go in it cause it's gonna crack. This is soaking wet. It was just cut, this tree was just cut down last summer. Now this is, my foot's on here for reference. This is a poplar crotch. Well, there's a, you call that a crotch. There's a tree there, tree, the branch, the piece coming off here, there, and then there. And then there's a burl here kind of thing. But I said to myself, you know what? I'm kind of tired of carving things like spirits or friggin' tree houses and whatever. Owls and I don't really want to start carving too much wildlife stuff. So I thought maybe I'll come here, cut this up because I need to move it anyways. I want to get rid of this old rotten pellet that's in here. It's actually not that bad. Maybe I'll put it in here so my stuff's uh, off the ground that's finished. But I'm just going to babble here. I'm going to uh, cut this up and who knows, I'm going to try and see if I could formulate a little coffee table. I don't know. Just use my bigger saws, cut her up and have fun because, you know, this crotch, this, this poplar, that's part of this tree, which is coming down really soon. It has crazy green in it. So I had, I could, this is the crotch piece I, had, I took home and I dried it out in the room. I have three of these pieces. But when you cut these crotches, especially on this poplar wood, also known as poplar cottonwood, look, it's growing. Look at that. This, I forgot, I have a little hand planer I got, but this has crazy, crazy green in it. So anyways, it pisses me off, I forgot my planer because I want to plane this flat and I'm gonna, this is eventually gonna be an epoxy. I'm gonna cut this thing off, cut all the bark off today. Um, I probably, cause I haven't slept, that's why I'm here so early. My sleeping's all screwed up. I couldn't sleep last night tossing and turning. So I just said, you know what, I'm just gonna come here and um, put my chops on, be safe. Cut this and see if I can make some kind of table or something. I don't know, like a, a base for a table. Anyways. Now, hmm, what saws do I want to take out today? Well, I got my 500i. That's coming out for sure. I got to put the, it's got a smaller bar. I got to put a bigger bar on there when I slice that. I'm not good at cutting logs uh, flat on the bottoms. You know, these saws are right-handed saws, but I'm left-handed, so my cuts are always kind of yeah i know i shouldn't blame it on the saw but whatever that one and then i'll take out my uh favorite saw the 034 with the uh, 24 inch cannon bar on it i'll get that cut on here and just uh do another jordy does i don't care do you care i don't care that's my 500 i
soaking wet. Okay, well we gotta start. We gotta start. I'm gonna get it on that uh, dolly, then bring it over here. Anyways, I'll get all this bark off of here and then see what my next step is. The bark goes down in here too, so maybe this branch will separate from the piece. So tell me, Jordy, what's your next step, Jordy? Well, I don't know, Jordy, that's why I'm asking you, Jordy. Anyways. Kind of like, uh, what What are you thinking? I don't know what, what am I going to carve out of this? What am I going to, how am I going to make this into a table? I don't know, Jordy. You tell me, Jordy. I just don't know. <laughs> Well, Jordy, maybe you could tell us some uh, insight about this uh, artistic piece of artwork that you're doing here. Well, Dick, first of all, I'd like to say my name's Jordy Johnson, and uh, I named this piece The Naked Girlfriend. Yep, that's what it's called. So, Jordy, uh, why don't you tell us where this piece is going? Is it for sale? Is it a commission? Is it already sold? Well, Dick... Tell you the truth, this is called uh, white trash yard art, is what it really is. And uh, just goes to show you, any somebody cut a hole in the friggin' log with the friggin' chainsaw. So, uh, yeah, gotta drink your coffee, smoke some smokes, have a good time. Then uh, carve holes in logs. So that's it, Jordy. That's about it, Dick. Have a good day and uh, carry on. We gotta carve some more shape down here though. 
Okay, enough of the silliness. So, uh, my mic working? Yep. Um, yeah, I was kind of a bitch to cut that center out, but I got it all done. See, so you got some rot in here. There was some rot in there, but I think it's pretty neat. You know what? Uh, you know what I'd do with this piece? Once it's uh, all cleaned up, like this thing is soaking wet. I seen the water pouring off here when I was carving, carving it, cleaning it up. Um, what I'd do with this piece? It's gonna crack. So I'm thinking maybe later on, once it once it dries up a bit, the outside I can clean it up with. Uh, maybe I'll pull up my cut saw disc, see if that works. But that will probably plug up. But um, I think putting some wind chimes in here. A nice little cedar slab on the top. I think it's. I think it would be a pretty neat little coffee table. So you know, when somebody's out there drinking coffee, they get a little gust of wind and they hear the wind chimes. I don't know. I th I think it's a good idea. But then again, what do I know? A naked girlfriend. Yep. First ever a naked girlfriend's coffee table. Okay, so I'm doing a little bit of cleanup here, sawdust, rake, shovel, wheelbarrow, all that all out here too. I just want to show you guys the color in this wood. That's why I like work like this popular cottonwood is it's terrible wood, but it's sure got some beautiful look, there's two there's two centers of the tree, one here and one here. Cause I cleaned this up because I wanted to see where the center of the tree is because I was going to drill a big hole in there with a auger bit or whatever a forester bit so because if I took some of the middle out it would have less chance of cracking but uh, what do you do when you got two here and here I first started here this is the back side of the piece right here another thing too um, when you're chainsaw carving, I did this with the cut saw disc, but when you're chainsaw carving, use the top of your bar, and that's how I, like, just scrape it with the top of your chain. That's how I clean most of this up. You can see the marks there. But that's how I clean most of this up. I, I personally, I think it's kind of neat. Let's see the front. You know, I could... See, look at all the different colors down here. I could flip it upside down, doesn't matter. I gotta clean all this sawdust, it's heavy as hell because loud plate alert, gotta go. Okay, so uh, Fred, Tim's here and he's lifting this up, log up. I got it, the bottom cut nice and straight, got the top cut. This is perfectly straight. They helped me with their laser level. So anyways, this is getting stood up and um, let it sit in the sun for a while. There she goes. Well, here's one thing for sure for the regular subscribers. The uh, blackberries aren't going to be so plentiful this year. Because they're cleaning, out of, cleaning them out of the ditch. But there'll still be lots around. Okay, so it's uh, later in the day now. We've got a bunch of stuff cleaned up around here. i still got to do with this stuff. But um, I'm going to call it a day. Big piece of cedar's going to be sitting here drying now and I got to wait to see where it's going to crack. If I don't, I might put, I might do a, put cedar, like a fence boards on the roof first for this. So if it does crack, the copper won't separate. And I'll just leave this piece sitting in the sun for a while let it dry out because this stuff gets moldy if uh, you put it in the shade so anyways that's it for carbon fusion oh I'm going to uh, if buddy's around I'm going to look at uh, on-site carving somebody called me asked me if I could come and look at a couple stumps in his backyard so I won't talk but I'll show the stumps I don't know if I'm gonna get the job I don't know what he wants or what his budget is but I'll just make a little video of the stumps, but I won't be talking. So that's it. Hope you guys are all good and uh, happy Sunday because I'll be editing this video tonight and it'll be out tomorrow.